this is Amanda from I Sew A Lot and this is a really really quick video um, because I've had a request on Instagram about um, how I added the cuffs to my Claire coat. Um, obviously if you haven't seen my Claire coat have a look back at my previous video uh, because you'll see how pleased I am with it and I show it off in its full glory but I've had a request um, from someone on Instagram like I say about how I um, added the cuffs so this is going to be really really quick and um, yeah this is how I did it I don't know if this would necessarily work for everybody um, but I am just one of life's wingets so this is how I did it so first of all you need to find your front sleeve piece and your back sleeve piece and then what you need to do is you need to measure the cuff end of both pieces and then hang on a minute take three centimeters off of the measurement that you have because obviously the both pieces together have a seam allowance on either side so you want to take out that center seam allowance which is 1.5 centimeters for each of those pieces so that should give you a measurement and my cuff ended up like this I wanted my cuff to be uh, four inches the main reason for that is when you attach your lining you have to turn under your bottom of your sleeve by two inches to attach it to your lining and to make sure that your lining doesn't pull so my idea was I cut two inches off of my sleeve so from this end I cut two inches off the length here I made no adjustments to the lining whatsoever I sewed the lining as the instructions tell you so I had sewn my sleeve together but lining obviously not attached cut two inches off and then I knew that I needed a minimum of two inches folded under to make up for the two inches I've cut off so I made my cuff piece by the width of the two sleeve pieces minus three centimeters and I made it eight inches in width okay so before you have attached your lining then you want to take your cuff piece and bearing in mind it's actually going to be folded in half long ways and then that will create your cuff so before you do that you need to create a tube so you need to take your short edges and stitch them together with your 1.5 centimeter seam allowance then when you have your tube that should be the same width same circumference as your sleeve so then sleeves right side together so you have your sleeve in the right way and then you turn your cuff so it is also wrong way facing out this is really confusing but that's what you do so then you would place it over your cuff this is confusing but you would place it over your cuff with this is your right side as if it's folded down like this and stitch it together then fold it over and press it under and then attach your sleeve to it as the instructions tell you to do I have to admit I did not follow the instructions for the pattern at all I almost exclusively used Heather's sew along on the closet case files website so if you are making the coat check out the website I think it's archived so I think you have to either Google search for it or you click on the pattern as if you're going to purchase it and if you scroll down it gives you the option to have a look at the sew along so that's how I did it I hope it makes sense um, and also once I pulled it all through I also stitched because it's quite bulky so to keep it in place inside I stitched my two cuff seams together to keep them in place because otherwise because it's quite bulky and because you're lining obviously there's a little bit of extra movement in there um, may you may end up with your cuff rolling down and then you would have um, a bulky bit lower down in your cuff because you would be able to see the seam allowance from the from the inside so inside I stitch those together so in here I felt where my two cuff pieces end and I've stitched them together to anchor them together to keep my cuff 
because obviously that's not top stitched in any way but to keep my cuff the length that I want it so I hope that makes sense um, but like I say don't adjust the lining at all and the two inches um, obviously takes into account the fact that you have to turn it under two inches to make your lining be the correct length so obviously you need to work out if your arms are particularly long or particularly short how you want to do it but that worked for me um, and when I tried the coat on just from a reference point of view when I tried the coat on without the cuffs it was okay as my arms were straight but as I moved my arms they did come some way up my arm so I needed to add that extra length so hopefully that's going to help I'm just about to film a video for my January um, haul and my February plans so keep watching give me a thumbs up if you like it and click, click subscribe for more videos like this thanks for watching bye